Five, four, three, two, one. Check it out. It's heard on Leo and Rebecca in the morning. Uh, tribute to Robin Williams pretty much throughout our entire morning show this morning. Oh, absolutely. Because he deserves it. Well, there's just so much. So much. Now, of course, Robin passed away yesterday. Now, he left us four movies left, right? Yeah. How, how crazy is this? He leaves behind four movies, including Night at the Museum 3. Nice. Like, right off the bat, it didn't dawn on me until I read it somewhere that he was in the Night at the Museum movies. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he, like I said, he played Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Uh, so they say, uh, get ready for it because um, he's going to reprise his role as Teddy Roosevelt, Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb, which he already wrapped shooting, and Fox is set to release that on December 19th. So they say, uh, trust, uh, we get to enjoy his comic gift over the holidays. Nice. Also, uh, he stars in another holiday comedy that's going to be released uh, around Thanksgiving called Merry Friggin' Christmas. <laughs> uh, they plan to release that one in the U.S. on November the 7th. Uh, it co-stars uh, peeps like Lauren Graham, Joel McHale, Candace Bergen, Jeffrey Tambor, peeps like that. So I bet they are super honored to have been able to work with him, whether it was the first time or the 15th time. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. Also, they say uh, he's got a movie called uh, Boulevard. Uh, it's a drama. Debuted earlier this year at the Tribeca Film Festival. Uh, no word as to when that one's going to be released or if it will be released uh, just yet. And they say uh, he also provided the voice of Dennis the Dog in a movie called Absolutely Anything, uh, which features also uh, voices from like Kate Beckinsale. Cool. And so, it's slated yeah. for release next year. Nice. They say uh, 20th Century Fox had also been developing a sequel to his 1993 Mrs. Doubtfire though the actor had yet to read a script. So yeah. even though we heard that he was planning on doing another Mrs. Doubtfire, he honestly hadn't sat down and like started that. He was wrapping up all these other projects. We were projects. so stoked when we heard that he might do an, an, another Miss Doubtfire. We oh, were like, oh my yeah. gosh, that'd be so awesome. That was like a huge deal. Yeah. Uh, so uh, anyway, he had um, Mrs. Doubtfire that he had in the works and also an indie comedy, uh, a film by Alan Stuart Eisner that he was supposed to... Uh, Start working on. So, I mean, he was working yeah. up until probably yesterday. He was working big time. I mean, you he know, had just finished doing a TV show. I mean, it got canceled, but I mean, that's what he was doing last year. Yeah, he by no means had was out of Hollywood for any reason. Wow. Well, speaking of Hollywood, lots of peeps, of course, tweeting, uh, throwing their messages out um, since the horrible news that Robin Williams passed away. Yeah. Uh, Steve Martin, which is somebody like, you know, he's up there. With Robin Williams, been in the game a long time. He says, I could not be more stunned by the loss of Robin Williams. Mensch, great talent, acting partner, genuine soul. Uh, you even got uh, peeps like Lance Armstrong. Who knew they were friends? He says, uh, rest in peace, Robin. I'll always remember you as one hell of a friend. I love you and will miss you terribly. Wow. Uh, and Mandy Moore, I forgot about this. She was in a movie, and it's one of my very favorite movies. I can't think of what it was called. But she uh, tweeted, says, honored to have worked with such a bright light and brilliant man. Love and prayers to his family and friends. It was... Uh, they played American. Anyway, it's funny. Uh, Kelly Clarkson worked with him on The Crazy Ones. She guest starred. She says, devastating finding out about Robin Williams today. He was an amazing talent and incredibly sweet. So sad. Kevin Spacey, uh, a great man, artist, and friend. I will miss him beyond measure. Honored that I was able to uh, know him and work with him. Cher, like apparently she was devastated because Cher just kept sending out tweet after tweet after tweet. He was sweet, lovely man. Uh, you know, so sad. I was with him a little while ago. We presented, pretended to see Sharknado. Uh, she says, I've known him a long time. You since know, the Mork and Mindy days. Yeah, speaking of Mork and Mindy, I wanted to know what Pam Dauber says. And in a statement, she says, I'm completely and totally devastated. What more can be said? Right. That was all she put out. And Sally Field did put out a statement. Oh, what did she say? Wow. She says, of course, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire co-star. I feel stunned and so sad about Robin. I'm sad for the world of comedy and so very sad for his family and I'm sad for Robin. He always lit up when he was able to make people laugh and he made them laugh his whole life long tirelessly. Uh, he was one of a kind. There'll be not be another. Please God, let him now rest in peace, Sally Field. Wow. Yeah. How about someone that I would have expected to hear from? Um, maybe he was too distraught, honestly. Mm -hmm. Tom Hanks. Yeah, true. I mean, think about it. Tom Hanks and, and Robin Williams, I mean, those guys, to me, they just go together. Yeah. They're both funny dudes. Um, so Rita Wilson, Tom's wife, says the last time Tom Hanks and I saw our sweet friend Robin was a few months ago with his and our dear friends, and she posted a pic. 
And that's all she said. I mean, can you imagine? Tom Hanks is probably beyond devastated. Ellen DeGeneres, another uh, comedy of our time, comedian, says, I can't believe the news about Robin Williams. He gave so much to so many people. I am heartbroken. And she posted a picture of the last time that Robin was on her show. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar is someone that he had worked with uh, more recently. Uh, She released a statement. Uh, She says they worked on The Crazy Ones. It was a TV show that was on uh, CBS, I believe. Uh, She said, he was the dad I always dreamed of having. My life is a better place because I knew Robin Williams to my children. He was Uncle Robin. To everyone he worked with, he was the best boss anyone had ever known. And to me, he was not just an inspiration, but he was the father I had always dreamed of having. Wow. You know, one of the first persons to ever work with Robin Williams, ever, was Henry Winkler on Happy Days. In fact, Robin Williams first made his first appearance on Happy Days as Mork. And then they made it into a series called Mork and Mindy. Yes. Yeah, and Henry Winkler speaks here. When he uh, came to do uh, Happy Days, which I believe was his first role, we usually rehearsed Monday to Friday, and he came in on Wednesday because they couldn't find anybody to play <laughs> this alien from space that uh, Gary Marshall had thought up. We started rehearsing, and I realized that I was in the presence of greatness. Remember me, Mark from Mark? You once called me the nutso from outer space. I think I must be dreaming of something like that, you know? Sorry, real thing. I had to zap your mind to make you forget. Didn't want you to go, Bozo City. <laughs>